In 2012, the Maine Aquaculture Innovation Center supported a Sea Grant-led project that brought together new kelp farming technology and existing shellfish farms in Maine to start developing integrated seaweed and shellfish aquaculture. Seeded line was provided by Ocean Approves Kelp Nursery in Portland, and lines were placed underneath, between, and outside of mussel rafts along the coast of Maine with variable results. We took what we learned from our first season and decided to try again for the 2012-2013 season. This project and another porphyro seeding project, also supported by MAIC, allowed for the development of a marine macroalgal nursery room at the Center for Cooperative Aquaculture Research in Franklin, Maine. We were able to produce our first batch of seeded line for an earlier outplanting date in October. Two 300-foot horizontal long lines were placed next to three mussel rafts in Clark's Cove in Walpole. By January, the sugar kelp lines were well ahead of last year. By March, they had really started to take off. No, we can add In April, the long hollow stipes floated the lines to the surface and had to be weighted down. Plants were very clean throughout March and April but the ends of the blades were beginning to show some light fouling. Besides the long lines, we had also planted a few lines underneath an unused muscle raft. By May, we were towing product into shore in large net bags, and we hung some of this up to dry, trying both outside drying and inside a greenhouse. By May, we were harvesting the long stipes for Ocean Approved's new product called Kelp Rounds, and the blades were going to a sea urchin bulking project. While the actively growing bases of the blades were still clean, biofouling was increasingly becoming a problem on the ends of the blades. By June and July, growth had slowed and plants were heavily fouled with snails, hydrozoans, skeleton shrimp, and bryozoans, but we were still harvesting blades for urchin feed. Besides sugar kelp, we also tried a few new species. One line of laminary digitata, or horsetail kelp, was planted a little late in the year and didn't have the benefit of a full season. Palmaria palmata, or dulse, is a favorite sea vegetable of many, and we put out our first experimental line this year. Plants were started in the Seacar Seaweed Nursery from Spore and manually attached to seed line. By January, the dulse plants had more than doubled in size and were a brilliant red. By March, each of the small plants had developed into deep red bundles. But by April, the fronds became reproductive and began to bleach out. The quality of the plants deteriorated from this point forward. Porphyra umbilicalis, also known as laver or nori, is a sheet-like red seaweed native to Maine. Humane researchers have been working on seeding techniques for this valuable sea vegetable, and we planted out a couple of seeded nets on the farm. 
Fouling was a problem, so we placed nets underneath the pier so that they would be routinely exposed at low tide. There was some growth on these nets, but in the spring, the plants all bleached out. This was probably not an ideal site for nets, as it was too shaded underneath the pier. We hope to continue to improve our seeding and husbandry techniques, as well as work with others to find new and existing markets for these amazing sea vegetables.